tractor's on the front porch singing over me your song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Looking through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Welcome to Heart of the Home, Away from Home. Jerry, darling, I brought a turkey. Is this the kind of turkey you tell me to stop and get? No. No. Well, Jerry, you just said a turkey. You didn't say live, dead, frozen, fresh. Actually, you know how hard it was to get a turkey? Jen had to drive to Alpharetta. Oh, she know. did, she did. We thought, you know, we film a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, but this is our Thanksgiving special show. And she had to drive about 45 miles to come up with a turkey. I found this one on the way in and I just thought it was really pretty. And Very you know, pretty. would that work? No, no. no. Okay, we are here visiting this beautiful, beautiful home. Tell me who our guests are, who is our host? Ron and, Ron and Stacey Arnold, uh, good friends of mine. I met them about seven or eight years ago. And, uh, and we're going to tell folks, the reason your legs look so good, Jerry, is because <laughs> you have walked up and down their driveway a lot. Many times. This is a tough driveway, but it is worth it. The view is incredible. We talked about this on an earlier show. Y'all really, really did this yourselves. Mm -hmm. yes. The design, the plan, everything. Well, we got the designs from some friends and we modified them. Now, do you enjoy this house? We do. We love it. Do you entertain a lot? Mm -hmm. Is it perfect for entertaining? It That's is. That's the reason we Good. Don't. Because today, I'm gonna share the absolute perfect Thanksgiving. I used to get up and I used to do the cooking and I used to really stress out. And we talked about this earlier. You have to now designate. Give somebody a job. So Stacy, it's your job to call this one, this one, this one, say bring something and we're gonna have Thanksgiving dinner. Doesn't that make more sense? It does. Now, did Jerry teach you something earlier? He taught you to make his mom's dressing. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of like you would have done anyway? Could you have guessed to do it that way or was it something new? It, it was a little new for me. It's a little yeah. different for me. Um, number one, my kids don't eat celery. I love celery. You didn't use eggs. Didn't but you eggs. taught us you can make it a week in advance and freeze it. Yes. Or have a pan that night and test it and see how you like it. And then do the other one. So anyway, any way you want to do it, if you want to do a big batch and freeze a couple of batches, even have it for Christmas. You could do that, mm -hmm. right. couldn't you? Now, when you have Thanksgiving here, how many people normally would you feed? Uh, probably 10 to 12. Okay, and who does the cooking? Me. Do you stress over this? I do, a lot. You yeah. can't do that. You can't do that. I know. Call your relatives and say, sister bring this, brother bring this, mom get the ice, bring a pie, stop at Deb's Bakery. Somebody asked me earlier, what dessert was I doing today? I was doing, pick up the phone, call Deb's Bakery, say, Deb, please fix me something. I'm gonna come by and pick it up. That's the simplest thing of all. You know, don't stress over this. It's not worth it, it's mm -hmm. not worth it. The one thing we stressed over a little bit, and this is a recipe we've shared for 25 years. My next door neighbor, Miss Goldaby Davis, always makes me this for the holidays. We forgot to do it. So it had to, it congeals, and the cranberries have to sit overnight. So this one was a little bit of a stress factor today, but it's almost ready. We have this with dressing, and it is an old recipe. It has pecans, oranges. Now let's talk about oranges. Well, what do you do for a living? I am the Georgia Division Manager for CB Citrus. And this has oranges in it. So how about that? You can mm -hmm. put orange rind, you can use pecans. If you like coconuts, you can add coconut. And remember, what is a recipe? Just a beginning. Only a beginning. A <laughs> recipe is only a beginning. Now, we talked about your husband loves sweets. Does he have his eye on these sweets? Oh, yeah. He does. <laughs> he They're does. Mine. They're yours. They're <laughs> yours. Okay. Do you like chocolates? Do you like lemons? Do you like all of it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I understand that statement. I haven't missed many meals. No, no, no. Now, when she's at home working, do you expect to come home to a meal every day? Um, when I come off a trip, yes. Okay. And you travel a lot. You just got back from Germany. Yes. And we're going to get to sample some wonderful German chocolate. I can't wait. You tell me now, what is it? Tell me the deal about it. Well, it's got a little bit of chili to it, so it's got a little kick to it. Okay. And it's an interesting flavor. 
never tried it before. I would well, never assume chili would be good in chocolate. Three things that can never be too rich. What did I teach you? Chocolate. Men, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate men and coffee can never be too rich. I can't wait to try that chocolate. That's going to be phenomenal. Now, Jerry, you brought dressing. I brought the cranberry. I stopped at Deb's and got sweets. So far, I haven't had to do anything except show up. That's pretty cool. This is probably my favorite Thanksgiving ever. You had to prep the turkey. Tell me what you did. I did. Um, what I do is I take a frozen turkey. I'll put it in a cooler with ice and water and salt. Mm -hmm. I'll do a salt water brine. Let it sit. Sea salt? Uh, you can use sea salt or regular uh, iodized table salt. Okay. Uh, let that set for 24 hours and defrost in your cooler. Take it out of your cooler, get all the water out, and then season it with Cajun seasonings. And I make sure I get plenty into the uh, body cavity and into the chest cavity. Okay, let's start over. What if you started with a fresh turkey? Mm -hmm. You can do the same. Uh, <clears throat> when you do that, it's Because your turkey was fresh. We couldn't find, right. believe it or not, guys, we tried like 10 stores, couldn't find a frozen turkey. We're just a couple of weeks out from Thanksgiving and the turkeys hadn't given it up yet. The turkeys were still out in the fields. <laughs> <laughs> so you did start with a fresh turkey this start time. Start with a fresh turkey, uh, add a little salt to your okay. Cajun seasoning, rub it down with it, do the exact same. Now what kind of Cajun seasoning did you use? Uh, Tony Cheshire's is what I used on this one. Okay. And uh, I, I like, I've tried several different brands, but I like Tony Cheshire's. Well, you could very use good. the Chef and the Fat Man, have chef a love rub, man. and Han's dad has Cajun Joe, which is okay. very, very spicy. Now, I'm going to warn you, some people, do you like spices? Yes, I do. I do. I like a little kick, and it's like a, a recipe I was sharing with somebody. I put a little hot sauce in it. So, you know, choose the spice that fits your family, just like my family doesn't like celery. So just choose things that work right. for you. Mm -hmm. Right. I kind of tone mine down when I have uh, people I'm not sure about. Right. They want extra or extra if you like to see them take a bite and go, oh, <gasps> Lordy me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a little sweat deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then after that, we're uh, this turkey, we're deep frying. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's important to have your uh, deep fryer ready. Mm -hmm. And you must maintain between 325 and 350. And let your bird cook for three to five minutes per pound. Per bird, of the bird. Once you've taken it out, even though that's a good measuring stick to use, it's always best to have a meat thermometer and inject it into the chest mm -hmm. of the bird and make sure that it reaches 165 for at least 15 seconds. Okay. And then your bird is, is done. Okay, the, the one thing, I, I had never tried a turkey like that until last year you invited me to your house. The big thing, it's very expensive for that oil. It is. That's expensive. Was it three gallons of oil? It actually ended up being four. Do you reuse it? I do. Okay. With a, with a, with a turkey like that, you can strain it and reuse that. Okay. Oil. Okay. And is it good for about three uses? Uh, yeah, that would be. You know, about pushing it. Yeah, okay. Pushing it. Okay. I know when we had the restaurant, we strained our grease every day, sometimes twice a day, and we could get two days possibly out of the grease. It's very pricey, and people don't understand that. When you choose to, to fry a turkey, it changes the price of your meal mm -hmm. because you've just shot it up 40 bucks. Right. right. So decide, is it worth the flavor? It's pretty dang good. <laughs> pretty dang good, guys. Um, it, it was quick, and that's the other thing. I used to get up at 4 in the morning and put my turkey on to have lunch at 1 o'clock. So you have to decide. You know, is time a factor? Yes, it is. And right now, we're going to take a break, and we're going to go to... A little bit of scenery that you will love these mountains. We're going to take a break right now and we'll be back. Hang around, guys. Welcome back to Heart of the Home, Away from Home. We're away from home, but maybe 30 minutes from my home. We are in Big Canoe, Georgia, or as I call Big Canoe, what did I say? I forgot already. Big to <laughs> do. Big to do. Big to do. Big That's to do. It. And you said this is such a great lifestyle. It's not a big to do. It is just a very casual, comfortable. Um, do you play golf? Some. Okay. What do you that? do? What do you do here to relax? Hike. Hike. That's a great idea. 
Now you live, do you have bear up here? Mm-hmm. And wild turkeys? Turkeys, coyotes, a lot of deer. You told me keeping your garden in place was really tough because of the deer. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you do about that? I have a fence around it. Honey, did you know it's deer season? Out. You can just sit out there with a 14 <laughs> <know>. shotgun. <laughs> no, 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 you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. Today, Jerry is cooking a turkey for us. He's deep frying a turkey. Now, I have not done it physically myself. It looks like a lot of trouble. It looks like it's expensive, but I've tasted his turkey. It's very good. Mm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do Thanksgiving here, do you do a turkey for her? Uh, I have done turkeys for it. Mm -hmm. And do you deep fry it? Yes. What about the safety issue? A lot of people talk about that. No, no just have to be careful. You the do. oil is a big, big problem if right. uh, you're not careful. You have to be careful. And, and that's the thing, you know, the internet has all kinds of things to, to show you how to do it and how fast to, to get the oil done. And, and just, you know, make it easy and, and make mm -hmm. it fun and then save the oil because that was my big thing. I'm stressing $40 to cook that turkey. Lord, I could have shown it, put it in the oven for nothing. Yeah, you know, yeah for we nothing. found that. Mm -hmm. Who do you think came up with deep frying turkeys? I'm not sure. It's a Cajun thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Was that kind of the beginning? Mm -hmm. And we talked about a Cajun recipe or the Cajun spices and did it come out of California? Mm -hmm. Who would have thought about that? Mm -hmm. So there's such a variety of things to cook. I'm a totally southern cook, absolutely southern. And what's the best thing about the south besides sweet tea? Turnip greens. Turnip greens. Turnip greens. <laughs> I still don't see any turnip greens, Stacy. Where uh, are they're they? They're on the way. They're okay. on the way. Okay, you're going to pick greens and you're going to cook them for mm -hmm. me, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody else is going to be coming in with something. Mrs. Doreen Lee is bringing us a wonderful sweet potato casserole. Mm. Now, do you like sweet potatoes? Anything sweet. Well, these are to die for. And Lita is bringing us a squash casserole. Now, I do a squash casserole completely different from hers. And that's the thing. We're all coming together and we're all bringing the things we do best what y'all did best was design this great kitchen, you know. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Now Thank we've you. got, let me tell you about this. What is this? Canned soup beans. Mm -hmm. Why did we do this? For your relish. Pear relish, because I did bring homemade pear relish. Did you go to Bob Turley's with me? I did. What did you think of that Beautiful. two mile dirt road? Yeah, it was an adventure just to get there. It was an adventure to get there, but when we arrived... It was incredible. It was incredible. Uh, it was on Lake Blue Ridge, and that day we had soup beans and we had pear relish, and that's when y'all first tasted it. Mm -hmm. And this is totally southern. This is the old-timey pears, peppers and onions, and that. And right now we're going to take a break, go to some music by my friends, the Barkers, and when we come back, folks are going to be showing up with some food, and we're going to be eating. Oh, best part, the Great. best part. You designed the kitchen, you've got the dishes ready, we've got a dishwasher waiting to take care of the dirty dishes, and we are ready to go. Let's take a break now. Yeah. 
take it safely to the other side. Welcome back to Heart of the Home, Away From Home. Now talk about Away From Home. My guest, Doreen Lee, has joined us. You're really away from home, but this is where your heart is, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. The North Georgia Mountains have always been your favorite. You've lived in Florida now for how many years? Oh, about 20 years. And but you I were lived in Jasper you for did. four years. You did. Mm -hmm. And you are responsible for a lot of what I do today. Thank you, you taught me to cook. You taught me so. to be patient. You did. You taught me um, some... You can cut corners and still have a good product. And, right. and and that's the thing because you did a lot of catering. Yes, I did. And and you had to do things fast, efficiently, and you taught me that. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you came up. Now how long have you been here? I've been here about a week. Do you hate going home? Yes, I do. I know you do. <laughs> well, you brought me this fabulous, fabulous sweet potato casserole. Now, Doreen, this recipe is gonna be on our website. Mm -hmm. Tell me why you chose this one. It's the best sweet potato casserole I've ever tasted. Is it? It came from a cousin of mine in Valdosta, Georgia. Okay. And Valdosta being where it's very hot. And like lots it, of pecans. Lots of pecans. <laughs> I'm so glad. Well, we have some other guests joining us now. Um, Lita, your sister-in-law, is coming on, and so is Fran. And mm. they're going to come in, and Lita is bringing us a squash casserole. Lita, come here. Let me see that squash casserole. We can decided we that the easiest possible way to have Thanksgiving would be to share of ourselves. Now tell me about this recipe. Well, this is very simple because you just take your squash, you clean it the day before, cut it up, and boil it for 25 minutes, put it in a colander and drain it, put mm -hmm. it in a refrigerator in a Ziploc bag. The next day you add half a cup of mayonnaise and about 10 crackers that are crumbled up, put that in, and then put half a cup of um, uh, cheese whiz or just shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. Then just before you're going to bake it, you put some more crushed crackers on it or panko, whatever you want, mm -hmm. and some more cheese. That's it. You put it in the oven for 25 minutes at 350 and it's done. Does but it have any butter great, in it? Uh, half a cup of butter. Okay. But you, it's great for putting in the microwave and uh -huh. reheating. And that's what we said. This is something, what you prepared, we can heat now, even though mm -hmm. you brought it a little bit earlier in the day. The same thing with you. Both these are dishes that you can prepare ahead yes. of time. And that's the whole key. We talked about it. Now, Fran has brought us a cake that happens to be made with one of our Savannah cinnamon products. Praline. Praline. Now, I use the praline on sweet potatoes. I use it on a hot cake, a, a really good hot cake with nuts. And this is the perfect idea. Now, this is just Simple. basically a yellow cake mix. Yes. And what kind of pecan? Is it pecans or walnuts? Oh, pecans. Okay, and the praline? The cream, a cup of cream, a cup of the praline eggs, mm -hmm. and then it's boiled. And, uh, so and simple. You pour it over the cake after your cake's. And wouldn't it be great served warm? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Much better warm. Doreen, sounds like brunch to me. It does. Sounds like brunch. <laughs> now, Lena, one of the things, your your expertise, you owned a restaurant for yes, several I do. years in, in Gainesville, Georgia. Doreen was in the catering business, and Fran was a retired Georgia State trooper. The only experience Fran has is stopping me for speeding. Oh. <laughs> you have never Stop stopped. Restaurants. <laughs> we have been friends for years and years and years, just like Doreen and I. And I said, nice. you know, we all have a history. We all have a history. And that's why this Thanksgiving is so special. We can come together. We can bring the things that we can do. What you did was simple. What I did was the simplest. What did I do? I went to Deb's Bakery. And got the pastry. And I did. Us. I did. And I called everybody. And that's so important. Call your friends together. Call your family together. And make it work. And make it something that nobody is so stressed out. We all look pretty relaxed. I mm -hmm. think we're pretty relaxed. It's been a great day. It is one of those things. We're, we're going to do Thanksgiving dinner simply. And this is going to be simply delicious. Now, we're going to take a break. And when we come back... Jerry's going to have the turkey ready. Jerry's already prepared his mom's dressing. Do you like dressing? I love dressing. Love it. Can't mm -hmm. wait to try it. So hang around, guys. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with a turkey, two turkeys, Jerry and the turkey. Hang on, guys. We'll <laughs> be right back. Welcome back to Heart of the Home. We are approaching Thanksgiving. It is a wonderful, wonderful time of year. We have so much to be grateful for. Many blessings have been bestowed upon us. Great friendships, new and old. Um, Doreen, Lita, thank you so much for being here. Jen, thank you for being here. Thank you guys for opening your home to us. It has been an amazing, amazing journey. Everybody brought something. Jerry, 
it's a stress-free Thanksgiving. Very much so. It's amazing. You did the dressing. We talked late last night, and right. I said, let's do this. And it just came together. It really came together. And, and when you put your effort into it, a little here, a little there, I made a phone call. I made another phone call. This was really simple, guys. I really liked this Thanksgiving. The thing I love the most is sharing me with you. I love inviting you into my home, and now we're visiting new homes. We are in Big Canoe, Georgia. It is incredibly beautiful. We're going to share some photos with you. We're going to share some scenery, some beautiful waterfalls. Now, guys, are we ready to eat? Absolutely. I think it's time to eat. Completely. We're going to enjoy the Barker Brothers as we go off the air today. I'm so proud of the new theme song. They did a phenomenal job. Excellent. A great job. They have just recorded this. It will be opening our shows now. So remember the catchy little music we had before? It's gone. We're going to go with the Barker Brothers now. The theme song is the heart of the home, and I hope you'll enjoy that. Have a happy, happy holiday, guys. Thanksgiving couldn't get any better than this. We'll see you again only on Heart of the Home. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah.